voices here in the sense that we saw that Alexa devices um, were sold by sold and shipped um, by the what, hundreds of millions. Um, it was crazy numbers. So it's here on our doorstep. What in 2019 then should be a company's focus? So there's three things that a company should focus on right now. The first piece is research. This is a non-negotiable because we don't know how people are going to actually ask for things on these devices. So voice dictates a little bit longer tail or it's, it's like long tail SEO. So people will ask in longer phrases, but we don't know how they're going to ask for it. So simple mm -hmm. things like turn up the volume could have 200 different ways of that being asked for. If we don't account for all those things in our skill, you're going to start to give errors. So research upfront is paramount to understand what types of things you should actually include in your skill, how people are going to ask for it so you can actually figure out how to map those questions to your responses and really ultimately get to the crux of what the value is. So research is number one. Number two is actually taking all those insights from research and creating a small version of the skill. So you don't want to go through and create something that's going to take two years to get mm -hmm. out to market. You want to do something that's going to take you three months to get out to market. And I also want to just jump in and say, when you do that, don't make that your FAQ. Don't take your website page and take your FAQs and put that in there as far as your experience is concerned, because it isn't all just questions and answers. And you know what? You don't even know if those are your frequently asked questions. It's really about understanding the different parts of the customer experience where voice makes sense. So maybe there's an acquisition piece. Maybe there is a customer retention piece. Maybe there's a customer support piece. Those can either be three separate skills or they can all be in one big skill. The second thing you need to focus on this year is once you understand what the research is telling you, what you need to do from a customer experience standpoint, you need to start implementing it. And so the recommendation would be to create something that's relatively small, focuses in on doing one or two things extremely well, and then putting that out into the marketplace. Because really, after development of the skill, which, you know, dot, 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 there's work that goes into that. But after development, you really yep. want to understand how people are engaging with it in the wild. So what other things are they asking for? Are there things even within that piece that you mm -hmm. designed it for that people are using it differently outside of the research context? So really, the first, the first piece would be research. The second piece would be creation. The third phase that's incredibly critical is the understanding of what's happening within that mm -hmm. skill because you basically spend the next nine to 12 months researching, creating, and putting it out in the market and understanding and gathering that intelligence. You can be confident that what you put in in the marketplace will actually work when all those people start showing up you know, early next year, early to mid next year.